Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the basement. So I have my first update on the floodable duck hunting impoundment project. I'm really trying to step up my game here with video editing software, patching together various video clips. So you'll have to bear with me on that. But just real quick, uh, we're going to go out to, we're going to go out to the property momentarily. But let me point out uh, where I'm standing when I'm shooting uh, the couple clips because obviously it's a different perspective from the ground. So in the first shot, I'm going to give you, I'm standing roughly in this area where we uh, did the pond expansion. It's not where it ended up. It's not precisely uh, as I have it drawn in the drawing, but it's, it's pretty close. So I'm standing roughly in this area uh, with the shot. Then I'm going to move up here to the berm, which is fully in place. Uh, there's some finishing work that needs to be done, but uh, we won't get to that till next summer. There's tons of ice and frozen earth in the berm because it's winter in Minnesota. But that's where things are at. Uh, tremendous progress was made. Next week, the contractors are gonna be moving up and working on the reservoir pond. So I will be back in touch with you with an update on that aspect of the project uh, as it comes. Thanks for watching. Let me get you out to the property. Good morning, guys. So we're out at the property and the guys have been out here for three days. Uh, there's all the equipment up there. Here's the new pond, or kind of the expansion of the existing pond. You can see they, how they tied it in. It's kind of surprises how much frost there is in the ground here, but they told me 12 to 18 inches. There's the berm. So far, it's just kind of amazing when you actually get out here how different it looks once they start moving start moving material around <clears throat> I'll try to give you a couple different shots I what I really need here is a wish I had a drone I could that would be a much better perspective of this project but that being said uh, I'm, the contractor is going to be out here shortly talk with him a little bit but I think they're basically done with the, the key piece which of course is the berm So we'll start with that. All right, guys, here's just this, another shot. It's We're basically at dawn here, so I'm kind of fighting with the sun. I'm standing on the Easter, the most eastern side of the berm. So there's the original pond. The new pond, you can't really see it real well. And you can see the berm. It's pretty much horseshoe shaped. Of course, right out here is where the floodable impoundment will be. If you look at these stakes that I put in, what I measured out is up to those stakes, down to where the berm is approximately, I got 30 inches of grade. So you can see I get a lot of elevation from left to right here, which works well uh, for the purposes of draining and having some variation in the depth just naturally. So that's what uh, that's where we're at for now.